hello and welcome and today's video will be all about embroidery so if you've got an embroidery machine or if you're planning to buy one I give you some helpful tips how to choose a fabric how to choose stabilizer needles and threads and so on and also I show you how to transfer your favorite pattern from your machine or from your PC onto a piece of fabric so grab a piece of fabric or grab a cuppa and enjoy your video. I'm going to use my brother Enovis V7 embroidery machine and first of all we need to choose embroidery hoop. So I have two here. So one is smaller, so one is small and one is large. They came with the machine. And I also have a screen for each hoop and we have a holes in this screen. You can see here the center, left, right and it's basically for balancing your pattern on the fabric. So you, you can do a measurement and you can see where it will sit within the hoop. So the needles I'm going to use today is a size 90 embroidery needles. Don't worry if you don't have special needles for embroidery. Uh, you can always use universal size 90. And now we get to stabilizers. And stabilizers I'm using today is Madeira samples. And I'm going to show you the difference between them. So some of them are um, tear away, cut away, wash away or water soluble. So that's the way they, um, you remove them. But how you uh, apply the main fabric, they also can be different ways. So some of them you just hoop with your main fabric, hoop it tightly. Some of them you uh, apply by ironing or you can use a basting spray and that will hold your stabilizer and main fabric together. So let's have a look at the first one. So this one is wash away stabilizer. As you can see, it's quite see-through. So it's very thin. It will be for a thinner fabric, from thinner to um, medium weight. And after you, um, so you can use your spray, um, your basin spray to apply your main fabric. And after you've done your embroidery, all you need to do is just put your item in the wash and this um, stabilizer will come off. Uh, another one is water soluble. It works in a similar way as a wash away. It will disappear after spraying the water or put, put an item in the wash. It feels very much like soft cellophane. So you have to keep it away from drying out or from uh, any moisture. And the best way to keep it is to put it in a plastic container. Again, it's very light, so it will be for lighter fabric. And my next one is a Madeira um, Super Stable. And this one we apply by um, iron. So you put your main fabric on the top and then you use your um, use iron to stick it together. And after you've done your embroidery, so this one will be cut away and you have to cut around your pattern to remove the stabilizer. And next one is Madeira Super Strong. This one is very, very strong. It feels very much like felt. So this will be for knitted fabric, for uh, fabrics or for uh, fleeces, for bath towels. So to keep your, um, your um, knitted fabric together, that will give your threads a very good support. So it's Madeira Super Strong. And the way you apply uh, fabric on top is by using spray or just hoop it tightly together um, on, the, on the embroidery hoop. So next one is Madeira Super Strong in Black. It works in the same way but it's just for darker fabrics. So next one is in Black Madeira Cotton Soft. 
uh, feels like um, something between felt and paper so this will be for a medium uh, for medium weight fabrics and it's tear away so it's very easy to tear as you can see so after you've done your embroidery you just tear um, the excess of stabilizer away same same this one Madeira uh, cotton fix both of them are cottons um, after you've done your embroidery uh, you just remove the uh, excess and stabilizer I'm going to use today is for medium weight this one is actually fitting into my large um, hoop it has enough of weight to fit in and then I just cut the size I need so and now uh, let's go to the machine and choose uh, the pattern for your embroidery so I'm doing embroidery on my brother in novice V7 but before you do embroidery on your machine if your machine is new please read your manual before you start your work so let's look on our LCD screen we have three different modes sewing embroidery and embroidery edit so what is embroidery if you go there you see all these folders with different embroidery patterns here's a lovely bunny here is a love heart and pansies so you can choose and you can you can do embroidery if you return back so if you go back to your modes uh, and you go to embroidery edit you will have exactly same folders but what it gives you it gives you an option to amend your uh, embroidery patterns so let's go to a uh, same file and um, which pattern we should choose um, let's go for this one it's lovely uh, flowery pattern and so I'm going for this one so I press set uh, so first what I see is um, the size of this pattern is 57 millimeters by 104 millimeters and what else I see is um, I will need uh, to use six different colors of threads and the numbers of threads so what we can do so let's say we're happy with the pattern but we have to, we want to um, change the size so we press button size and you see you can go smaller or bigger so let's go bigger so that's the big uh, biggest it can do and now the size has changed uh, instead of 54 it's 69 millimeters now by 125 okay um, we're closing our size and rotate let's look how we can rotate our pattern so it was horizontal now it's vertical if we press 90 again it's just upside down and we spin again and again so you can change direction of your pattern um, what else you can do so let's let's add some letters uh, so we have an option here some fancy letters and uh, here you see uh, an alphabet so these letters uh, letters are big but we're going to add uh, some smaller ones and let's add a letter B so we press the letter B now we press set now we want to add another letter B so press add go to letters go down go to smaller ones press B and set okay so we have one B on the top of another so we just separate them so um, I need to place my pattern uh, right in the middle so let's just play with it so I want to lift um, move up a bit my flowers 
and now we go into move letters B's upper and right. You can drag it or you can use this um, navigator. So let's and maybe I will make them smaller. So I'm going to size and I resize them so that's the smallest it can do. And so that's that's fine. So I'm moving it closer to my um, flowers. So let's have a look at the height. So it's 46 point five by fifty one so that's direction we need to achieve exactly same with another letter so they will be on the same line so forty six point five by fifty one so this one is fifty one as well and let's just move it closer to another B and this one closer to this one so um, yeah that's fine so let's have a look at a bigger picture okay as you can see the hoop I want it right in the center what we need to do is um, leave this pattern a little bit so we're closing and we're going even higher okay same one, two, three, okay. Nice, as I said, just watch the measurement here. So, this one on, let me just lift it. So, 39, and that's 138. So, we need to go to 39 so now they're on on the same same um, line so let's have a look okay yeah I'm happy with that and we can enlarge that's how our embroidery will look so yes I am happy with uh, with the pattern so now we are uh, moving to embroidery so I press embroidery and my machine is telling me that it's ready to do the work and now if you want to move your file into your embroidery machine so my brother embroidery machine works with uh, PES formats so let's choose a pattern so let's open this one it's a bit slow so here's the uh, cute dog with love heart so now let's transfer it to a memory stick or a flashcard so what we need to do is copy and when we go to our flashcard and paste it in USB drive and now we take USB drive um, or flashcard and insert it in your embroidery machine so I've inserted a memory card or flashcard into my embroidery machine and now we need to find this file so we go into USB port there it is our beautiful dog let's have a look at the bigger picture and make a scale oh looks nice so now we can set for embroidery and press embroidery button and uh, there, here's the option to save it on to your uh, embroidery machine so as you can see it's quite simple to transfer your favorite patterns from your PC into your embroidery machine Looking at the threads, I'm using special embroidery threads and my flowery pattern is telling me that I need to use six different colors for my flowers. So let's start with 502 and I've got this number 
and 513 slightly brighter green and I've got them and then rest of the colors I don't have an exact number but that's fine we can always mix and match and we always can change colors so the next one is um, yellow peachy color and that's the closest I find and that will do the job next one is uh, 348 and I have 328 and next one is orangey 126 and I have orange 214 and the next one 205 no 206 and I have 205 so that's close enough and for my letters um, the letters are quite brownish color so that's the color I choose and uh, 323 and for pinky flowers I'm using 086 and for my um, spool bobbin I'm using color 328 same as this one golden mustard color it uh, just because um, if your um, machine pulls the threads to the top a little bit so this color will blend with the rest of the colors so don't um, use something like a white or black because it will show on the top of your embroidery and just make sure your um, spool bobbin is fully wound before you do your job and now we're going to hoop our piece of fabric. So the piece of fabric I'm using is cotton canvas and the size of this fabric is 20 inch by 20 and this is where I want my embroidery to be so I've marked a center of my piece of fabric. So what we need to do is we uh, remove the top of your hoop and now we need to I use a stabilizer and attach it to your fabric it's by basting spray so I spray it on top of stabilizer and I place it I try to place it central so that's about right make sure it's even on your both sides now I'm taking the bottom of your hoop and place it underneath so it has a screws so you need to release them Yep, make sure you have your stabilizer on the top of your frame. And now you put your top frame, top hoop on the top. And so I want this fabric being um, this cross being in the center of my frame and to um, this screen will help me to achieve it and as you can see it's almost there all I need just a little bit so yeah now it's central so my embroidery will be done right in the center so I just need to press it down just be careful and support your fabric Sometimes it can be tricky and you need another pair of hands and I call for my husband to help me so he hold the one side and I'm doing another side so but yeah this time I'm okay and just make sure there is no puckering so don't do it too tight but so now let's use the screws and tighten it up on one side and, 
and another one so it's nice and tight and maybe it's a little bit loose so you can just pull fabric from both sides don't pull it too much because your um, top hoop can just jump out of the frame and tighten it more. So let's see if we have, yeah we have stabilizer just, you know, just outside of your frame same on this way so it will it will do the job so that's how you how you hoop the fabric and it needs to be um, it has to do like a a drum, um, drum noise so it's not too tight but not too loose so that's the result we want I'm going to attach my hoop to the machine. It's in unlocked position, so all I need is to slide the hoop in. So lift the foot if needed and just slide it in and lock it. So it's nice and secure now, just make sure it didn't catch any fabric and put the excess of fabric on the top of your carriage. And now your fabric is ready for embroidery. So the machine is threaded and we attach the hoop. And now I want to see the borders of my pattern. So I press the button on my machine. That will tell me show me where the borders are and you can see so that will go from here to here here and that is the middle and this is exactly where I want it our pattern is starting with color number 502 light green and I have a touched bobbin of this color so we've pressed our foot down and now all we need to do is just the press start button. So now machine has stopped and I need to remove this bobbin and change for other color for my next color. So the best way to remove your thread is just cut it here and pull it from underneath. So I'm swapping bobbin. Now it's green 513. Press the foot down and press the button start. It's asking to uh, change color again. So I snip the thread, remove it from here, and I attach my next color. And I press button start.
So this number here is a number of our stitches on our pattern. And we've done 6,800 so far. To complete our pattern, it will take 25 minutes. And we've done 15 minutes already. And we will have swap our threads 18 times. And we've done it six times. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Here's a little arrow. And this is where our needle currently travels. pattern is completed. Hooray! We finished it. We've done it. So as we finished now, I'm going to remove my hoop and let's see what we've got. So we've removed fabric from the hoop and now I'm going to tear away my stabilizer. I've tidied my threads, give my fabric a press and now this is the final result. Right, how did you all get on? First of all, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions please leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already subscribed for my channel, please press subscribe button and like and the notification bell so you will be informed of my next sewing video. So, ta-ta for now and I'll see you soon.